Can you see the cards from there? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. We're rolling, anytime you're ready. Hi, I'm Lin-Manuel Miranda. I was never in the cast of The West Wing and that failure is a pain from which I'll never recover. Did Aaron write this? Just keep reading. Had I been in the cast of The West Wing, it would have marked the peak of my professional life. No matter what I accomplished after that, I wrote Hamilton. Yeah, you know. Sometimes at night, I close my eyes and imagine what it must have been like to win the SAG Award for Best Ensemble. I have a Pulitzer Prime for yeah. guys. Big whoop. It's a pretty big whoop. You know, I've never felt any sense of competition with you guys over who offers America the greatest civics lesson. Keep reading. I've always felt a sense of competition with you guys over who offers America the... Okay, I'm just gonna wing it. That's okay. Fine. Try not to rhyme. It can get irritating. Got it. What I wanted to say was that election night this year probably isn't gonna look like the election nights we're familiar with. We're used to the networks projecting the winners in each state just minutes or even seconds after the polls close. But this year, because of COVID, a record number of ballots will be cast by mail. And in many states, mail-in ballots will be counted last. That means there's a good chance it could be days before a winner is declared. And what you're likely to see, whether it's the presidential race or down-ballot races, is one candidate well ahead on election night and the other candidate closing the gap as all the ballots are counted. It's not a sign something sinister is happening. It's a sign that every one of our votes are being carefully counted. And in fact, there's an interesting story of James Madison and his blacksmith. No, no, no. My point is, election night will probably be different this year. It could be days before a winner is officially determined, declared, and certified, but it won't be because anything fishy is going on. And this is important to remember. In American elections, candidates don't declare themselves the winner. State election officials and nonpartisan news outlets like the Associated Press declare the winner. So all of us, no matter who we vote for, have to wait for that full and careful count to be completed and not to be swayed by speculation or misinformation. Have confidence in the election. We're America. We're good at this. Enjoy the rest of Hartsfield's landing.